Hi, welcome to How to Repair. This video is on a condenser tumble dryer that has an empty water light fault. Uh, basically we've emptied the tray at the top, which is the collection tray. We've set the machine to about 40-50 minutes and we press start and it shuts down. We try it again and the empty water light uh, ever fault actually appears. Now this fault is a common fault with condenser dryers and on this machine we're working on a hot point but this video is good for Proline, Creda, Ariston, hot point and Indeset. Now at the back here we have the pump housing. Make sure before you start any work that you disconnect it from the electricity supply. We need to remove the right hand side panel and the lid but in this video I'm going to remove both so I can get some better light in. So it's just two screws at the back, and then you need to give the lid a tap. And then I'll just remove this left hand side panel. Again there's four screws on the side, one at the top. On some models of the machine there is a screw on the underside, but the panel just slides backwards. Then do the same on the other side. It's not compulsory to take the left hand side one off, but it does give you more light and while you're working on the machine it's a good idea to hoover out any dust that builds up in the machine. It's one of the common errors on uh, tumble dryers. The amount of dust build up, they wear bearings and uh, also block the flow of air through the machine. And now we need to take the pump housing cover off. These are very tricky. Um, not a great design, but just take your time don't force the plastic too much, they are hard to get off, even for myself, and I've been doing this for about 30 years. And there we go. Now this ex exposes the pump to the right hand side, and you've got the micro switch on the left hand side, which connects to a float underneath, which I'll show you in a minute. The water that builds up in the bottom goes up the white tube to the collection tray at the top. And you can see me simulating here the micro switch working. If the tray at the top overfills, the water comes down the clear pipe back into the collection tray and then is pumped back to the top. But if the pump runs for too long a period or isn't able to pump the water out, uh, basically what happens is the machine program will time out and come up with the error fault that we have. So we're using a complete kit here. Now on some makes of machines you do have to buy the parts separately. The kits normally come with full instructions but this video will talk you through it. And in other videos I will show you how a condenser dryer works, common faults with the machine. We're putting a new float in here. This is a common item to fail. The floats do disintegrate over a period of time due to the temperature and being sat in water all the time. But basically the float rises, activates the micro switch, and that passes uh, information to the program, which then activates the pump to pump the water from the bottom to the top. So we've assembled the pump assembly. We'll just remove the pipes to get them out of the way. We'll disconnect the wiring. Make sure you take note where the wires come from. A good idea is to always take a photograph, but on this machine all the wiring is white. So I do recommend, if in any doubt whatsoever, just use a little bit of masking tape um, just to write down where the wires come from. And it's very important that you clear all the debris out of the collection tray, as this usually causes problems long term. And the kit doesn't come with the micro switch, so basically I've already checked the micro switch. I knew the pump was the problem, so we're replacing the whole assembly. Now it's slightly different design. They have made some modifications. fits in perfectly. Make sure all the wires are tucked away nicely. It's very important before actually putting it all back together just make sure that the float rises and falls freely. 
on its own accord. Uh, sometimes you put these together and uh, you jam the float and uh, next thing you know it's still showing an error fault. So you do need to make sure that that float is working in the way it should do. In other words, water is able to lift the float to activate the switch. Now just replace the pipes and we'll quickly put it onto the test bench so you can see that the fault is now cleared. I hope you find this video helpful and I hope you bought the parts from us and if not, don't worry, you can always buy us a beer for the useful information. And there we go. Press the start button, no empty light and the machine is running. Thanks very much indeed for watching and remember at the website we have hundreds of tutorials on how to fit all parts and to diagnose your machine faults. Thanks again for watching.